Hi guys, today I'm going to talk with something I think I might have touched on before. It's how every character has a purpose. And now, which is obvious, but every character in a story has a purpose usually pertaining to uh, a main character or to sort of highlight something in another character. So, you know, it's kind of like if, um, I don't know, I can't think of a really good, I, I can think of an example, but I can't explain it. It's like when, if women, you put on makeup, you put certain things to highlight features, you put other things to kind of bring down features, same idea. So certain characters will highlight things about a character that maybe would not come out normally. So in my Hernandez series, a perfect example is Paige. Paige has a previous relationship with Alec, who's the prime minister in the book. Um, and because of that, you sometimes see her through his eyes and how he sees her changed or how she used to be, which is prevalent, prevalent to the story. I can't even talk prevalent uh, because whenever there's uh, a character that really brings, oh my God, I have crows outside. I just mentioned this in the last video and they're really loud. <laughs> It's like a baby crow and he's so loud. Anyways, back, I am so distracted so easily. I'm like, squirrel, you know. Um, as I was saying, because this is somebody in her past, she he, he really shows part of her that you can't really see in the present. So George is a newer part of her life. So he only sees the now. Just like if someone meets you today, they know you today. They don't know you when you're 16, but somebody who knew you when you're 16 will make comments maybe around you and you'll be like, oh, okay, that explains something about this person. Same idea. So like, I also have notes here. That's why I'm looking like this. Um, like Chase, Chase, he's, we get to see a bit of his naive side sometimes, not as much lately, but be when compared to the other characters, which of course brings out how they are so sort of in engrossed in this sort of dark, twisted, murderous world that it's normalized to them. When he first came along, it was not normal to him because you know, that's not normal. And um, so for that reason, you kind of see how far removed they are, but at the same time you see how he is come, comes from a, kind of comes from a different sort of background. Whereas you see someone like Miguel, which is, of course is George's baby. Um, he's like three, <laughs> I think he's almost four actually. And you see how he acts as opposed to maybe other children. He's a lot like other children, don't get me wrong, but he grows up in this environment that's vastly different from a normal everyday child, I would hope anyway. Um, violence is kind of normalized, talking about murder, quite frankly. You know, one of his first words was kill because his daughter, uh, George's daughter, Miguel's sister Maria, said something about kill, killing someone. And it was um, very casual. And they picked up that word. And then he seen that everybody was like reacting whenever he said it. So he kept saying it, right? Because that's what kids do. So he was running around, you know, daycare yelling, kill. <laughs> you know, like every other kid. Um, I think it's like the top five words, right? So anyways, I th the point is you get to see things, it, the different characters highlight different things. I'm trying to think of a better example. I feel like none of that's really explained properly, but I guess it, it kind of does to a point. Um, you know, I think new characters do that too. When you see sort of their sort of normalness as opposed to like George Hernandez's <laughs> toy different world. And you see how you, it, a lot of times that shows how abrupt he is, how rude he can be and how intense and strong he is, is when you see him compared to just like an average person, it really comes out. Whereas you may not see that with his family because he's probably toned down, his friends is toned down, but he has a different stance with you if he doesn't know you. So they're just throwing that out there. Anyways, guys, thank you for checking out this video. I have over 200 videos in YouTube, slowly getting all those uploaded to Rumble, which I love. Check them out. I have a blog for pretty much every video I think that I did, if not every video. So you can always check that out too. And um, yeah, 
it, it all helps. And if you can like, share, subscribe, all that helps. It helps more people see my videos, which is hard to do. I don't have a lot of views for all the videos I have. So help me, please. Help me, help me, help me. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.